Yes, sir. My hot tricker back up in this thing, man. Today, I hope y'all ready for some more mind blowing videos, man. Today, I'm reacting to some creepy TikToks that confirm we live in a simulation. But before we hop into that, man, go ahead and spam that like button right now so we can run the numbers up on the algorithm. And you don't even got to think about it later. And if you haven't already, man, go ahead and hit that sub button too, man. Join the community. This is the most active and lit community on YouTube, period. And to everybody who subbed up so far, man, I'm thankful for each and every one of you guys for helping me build this from the ground up. But let's Let's hop straight into the video, man. You want to hear a conspiracy theory about why the Twin Towers was a government hoax? Check this out. This is normal cash, like you have on you right now. A $5 bill. This is when the towers are being built. $10 bill. This is when the first plane hits and they're slowly engulfed in flames. A $20 bill. They're slowly taken over by more smoke and flame. The $50 bill. The white smoke is when they put the fire out. The hundred dollar bill. There's nothing left. Hey, I knew about the twenty dollar one like way back in middle school, but I never tried the other notes. I'm pretty sure that everyone's seen that Kanye went missing for about a month or two, right? Uh-huh. Now let me explain to y'all why I think that happened. Number twenty two, when Balenciaga was facing the whole entire scandal, of course, which we don't hear about no more. Pretty sure people still buying their shit. In this interview, Kanye went along to expose Balenciaga, expose how celebrities have no freedom, how celebrities, including ones like himself, often have handlers that keep them in check, at least the tier A celebrities, how they use MK Ultra and other drugs to control these celebrities as well. He even talks about the pedophilia that's going on within Balenciaga. But I do need y'all to remember what happened to Kanye before he started exposing everything about Balenciaga. And I'm saying this because if y'all don't know, what the 1% will try to do is if they can't damage your image, they'll try to throw you in jail. And if they can't throw you in jail, they'll unalive you. And here's step one. They damaged Kanye's image already. So his word means nothing to the majority of the public, right? After that, people aren't really too worried about Kanye and where his whereabouts are. On December 2022, Kanye goes missing. Suddenly, January 8th, Kanye is spotted at a local church. Throughout that one month, nobody was worried about Kanye's whereabouts. It is the perfect time for the 1% to do what I believe they did to Kanye. Also, remember at one point that Kanye exposed his handler. I'm gonna let y'all pause this so y'all can read it. Mm. I don't even have to read the entire thing if you haven't. The second paragraph says, I'll have you institutionalized again where they medicate the crap out of you and you go back to zombie land forever. Play date with the kids just won't be the same. That's sick. Which brings me to my next point though. Kanye West just comes back out of nowhere with a wife. With a wife. People say his handler. Here's why I believe that. Before Kanye went missing, caught on multiple interviews, multiple podcasts, talking about the corruption scandal with Balenciaga, pedophilia, the mind control, the control in general over celebrities. The people who endorsed that brand. Now, after disappearing for a month, Kanye seen shopping with his wife at Balenciaga? Y'all, come on now. We can't even make this up if we wanted to. It's free at this point. They literally just putting it in our face. MK Ultra is real. I believe Kanye may be a victim. I don't even touch on the clone stuff, but that's even if that's Kanye to begin with. I believe it's a lot of interesting unanswered questions regarding Kanye West. And of course, this is all just conspiracy. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Kanye West and the whole situation regarding him and Balenciaga in the comments. Hey, tell me what you guys think about this alternate point of view. Maybe it's all just a setup. The tirades, Kanye coming back at Balenciaga. Like, what if that's all on purpose to kind of, like, gain attention? Antarctica is possibly one of the most mysterious places on Earth, especially when it comes to the topic of UFOs. In 2021, a UFO was captured flying over water in the southern continent. Let's take a look at this mysterious footage. Captured from a helicopter flying nearby, a flying saucer-shaped craft seems to glide just over the water, paying no attention to the helicopter above it. It continues gliding along until it begins to ascend out of view of the camera. The video was filmed in May 2021 and is still yet to be explained. <laughs> Antarctica has been a hot spot for extraterrestrial and UFO theories, with some theorizing that there exists hidden bases within the icy continent. Could this craft have come from one of those hidden bases? Freak. What do you think? <sighs> oh, Hey, 
my brain cannot compute what's happening in that clip. But what's really weird is the particular place that CERN was created. CERN itself was built below a old temple of Apollo, which in ancient times was considered to be a portal to the underworld, or CERN is partially situated, is called Saint Genus Poli. Excuse my French, literally. The name Poli comes from the Latin Apollicum, and it is believed that in Roman times a temple existed in honor of Apollo. The people who lived there believed that it is a gateway to the underworld. It is interesting to note that CERN is built on the same spot. You gotta be a straight goblin to wanna open up a portal to hell, like damn. Here are top three videos of aliens seen inside UFOs. Number three, an alien seen walking around on a flying saucer. Shocking footage of a lit oh, up UFO shit. hovering a few hundred feet above the ground has baffled many, as we can see a figure moving around within the craft. Here's an artist's depiction of the alien inside. Number two, the infamous Metapod UFO footage. The Metapod UFO footage features a strangely shaped UFO that hovers in broad daylight and appears to have some type of window on the front of the craft. Some believe that you can see the being inside that is piloting this craft. Number one, the Convergus UFO footage. In this sighting, a UFO hovers above Turkey in the middle of the night, and when zoomed in, two beings become apparent. The two resemble the classic depiction of a gray alien. Here they are, zoomed in. Hey, why did my man's in the last clip look so angry? He was whipping that thing hard. If anybody else has a Roku and has that screensaver, study it and tell us what y'all come up with in the comments. Like, I'm actually interested. I got one, too. So, like, I'll tell y'all what I find, too. What the heck is going on in the world? There's a glacier in Antarctica the size of Florida hanging on by a thread. And if it collapses, it'll raise the sea level anywhere from 3 to 10 feet globally, which would be an absolute disaster. And then you're going to tell me there's spy balloons and random things floating in our air and getting shot down, and that there are multiple chemical spills in Arizona and in Ohio that are very toxic to human beings, and that every single live performance nowadays always has to have some type of dark symbolism and are actually scary to watch. It's actually almost impossible to flip through social media without your favorite celebrity throwing up the Illuminati sign or wearing something that has some type of darker meaning. I mean, I can't even go to a sporting event without being given an Illuminati bobblehead. I'm starting to believe that this cross that was struck by lightning was a sign more than anything else. And I've been making videos every day trying to find out the truth of what the heck is going on in the world right now. Hey, I wonder what he means by that glacier is holding on by a thread. Like, what's a thread? We need to expand on that. Look at this. Isaac! Isaac! What the fuck is that? Bro, Isaac! He's gone? Bro, what is that? Look at, look at, you can see right through it. It's not, not a drone or anything. Mm. Hey, I was about to say drones at first, but they're flying in like perfect tandem position. Like they're being tethered by something like. Epstein Island, uh, confirmed by multiple sources, Bill Clinton, George Mitchell, Alex Baldwin, R Ralph Fenice, George Hamilton, Dustin Hoffman, Kevin Spacey, Liz Hurley, Laura Hunt, 
Janice Dixon, Naomi Campbell, Christy Tur Turlington, uh, Henry Kissinger, which may be one of the most evil men on the world. He is, yeah. Joan Rivers, Courtney Love, Mick Jagger, Courtney Guest, uh, Phil Collins, uh, Simon LeBon, Charlie Rose of PBS, Richard Branson, Candace Bur Bushel, Tom Ford, uh, Vera Wang, Nadia Byerlin, uh, Co Stark, and here's some more. Seth Green, James Gunn, Dan Schneider, Steven Spielberg, Tom Hanks, Stephen Colbert. Oh my God. Uh, Kevin Spacey, Kev uh, Kathy Griffin, Oprah Winfrey, Sean Carter, Beyonce Knowles, Anthony Kiedis, John Legend, Christy Teigen, Jim Carrey, Steven Tyler, Ben Affleck, Stephen Collins, Will Ferrell, uh, Eminem, J Jeffrey Jones, Victor Salva, Mark Rector, Charlie Sheen, Tyler Grasham, Madonna, Catherine Hudson, Gwen Stefani, uh, Stefani Germolta, James Franco, Will Smith. Oh, has Will Smith been in the news lately? Yeah. Justin Rowland, John Cusack, Anderson Cooper, Demi Moore, uh, Brian Affleck, Meryl Streep, Wanda Sykes, Sh Chelsea Handler, uh, Michelle Wolf. Uh, Farrell Williams, uh, Quentin Tarantino, Robert Downey Jr. They are petrified of that list and what those films are getting out. They have mm -hmm. all the videos of all those people in there. Really? Yep. Damn. It's going to get ugly. They're in panic mode. So are they going to release those videos? Or what, what do they do I, with them? I'm told that, well, it's it's looking like they're holding it back, that one person has control of that, but I'm told other people uh, have them and are going to release them at the right time. So we, we shall see. Hey, that was like every celebrity in the world. Damn. No, I'm not going crazy. <laughs> oh, Again. You see that? Bro, whatever that was, it was filming. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a part of that. At that Hollywood, you know what I'm saying? I, I got a Hollywood agency, you know what I'm saying? I'm, Let me I'm ask in you that a loop. question, right? I can't say too much, but I'm gonna say it. Has it ever been a time where it's dope? Have you ever got a visitor? A visitor? Like somebody come to your house? <laughs> How can I explain this? Uh, when you're getting to certain levels and you're going up, somebody come see you. <laughs> and wanna come talk to you? Somebody come and see you and to help you go to the next, next, <laughs> next level. A lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people, you know how you see, you might see somebody that's not that talented or not that funny or whatever, and all of a sudden they be all the way up here and you trying yeah. to figure out how that happened. It, now I'm going to rephrase this question. <laughs> Have anybody came to visit you? Ah, uh, nah. Disleaf. <laughs> Gotta be like a crab under the sand trying to like lure prey or something. If not, that's trippy as hell. time did it take my mans to find that ufo on google maps bro <laughs> Dude, we're tripping right now bro <laughs> we're tripping trying to get to my car that is my car <laughs> right there if we go down a level it's a floor below the car it's it's a f different floor if we go up and we try and walk around this fucking shit it is a floor above my car, bro. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? There's oh no God. way to, like, go. Hey, at that point, I'm just climbing over, bro. I ain't got time for that shit. Three Utah legends. The Skinwalkers originate from Dine's stories, 
and similar legends can be found in many indigenous tribes all across the Americas, the biggest descriptor being that they can shapeshift. The Bear Lake Monster is said to reside in Bear Lake, located on the border of Utah and Idaho. It's described as a long, serpentine creature with a humped back and a head like a horse or reptile. The Whales of the Great Salt Lake. This might sound like a strange one. Some say that the lake was once connected to the ocean, and others claim that someone let two whales loose into the lake. Now there's so many words <laughs> that you can die. But this way has to be one of the worst. <laughs> Now, I don't know what type of freaky thing these giants was on, but this one got caught in the act. She was definitely for the streets. <laughs> it brings a whole new meaning to Bro. being bricked up. Imagine participating in adult relations and being petrified and turned into stone in the act. My God. That can't be a good way to go out, but then again, they are worse ways. <laughs> Shit, wouldn't be the worst way to go out. But with that being said, guys, that was the video. Thank you guys for coming to kick it with me. As always, I'm interested to hear what you guys think about these creepy TikToks in the comments below. And until next time, man, y'all take care of yourself.